Okay, now we're ready to um, copy over our content. So I'm going to copy over two pages. I'm going to copy the home page and I'm going to copy over the website hosting page just to show you how it's, how it's done. And so let's go to our WordPress install in another window. We need to have them side by side because we're going to copy from one to the other. And I go to the admin page, WordPress admin, and I log in. Now go to pages. Now I've already got the home page and I've already configured WordPress for a static home page. Now I'm just going to add another page. And I'm going to publish it. Nothing in it. That's going to be for the other page. Now let's go back to all pages. And we're going to start with the home page and we go to edit it. Now I'm going to be in visual mode here, not text mode, so that's important. So I go to the original and I, I'm not taking the title with me, I'll copy that separate. And I go there, highlight it, scroll all the way down. And then Control C to copy, go to the WordPress, Control V to paste scroll up and you can see the images, there are images that have been copied over and then I update it and then I preview it okay there it is okay so that's copied over um, the template's the default template, we can change that later on. I'm just going to get the content over and I just need to put the title back in there. So let's go back to the page, go back to the original one, pick up the title. Copy it in and update it. And we've done that. Now I need to do the same with the WordPress hosting, uh, sorry, the website hosting. So I open up that page to edit. I go back to the original, pick it up in the browser. Again, I highlight the lot of text there. Okay, got it. Control C it. Go back to the site, paste it, control V, update, and then I preview that change. And there it is. Okay, so now we've got the two pages copied over. Uh, what I haven't taken over is the meta tags. Now to do that we need to install um, a plugin and let's go to plugins and what I'm going to install, I've got the redirection plugin which we're going to use later and you should install that one. Um, I'm going to install the all-in-one SEO plugin. Let's try again. And activate the plugin. dismiss that for the time being. Now what this has given me, uh, I need to now go and configure this, the all-in-one SEO plugin, the general settings. Now I'm not going to do this um, completely because I, I've covered that in another tutorial on the site which you can go and have a look at. Um, what I am going to 
do those configure that the home title and the home description now that is the index page now the home page works a little bit different from the other pages um, the other pages the the title and the description is configured on the page itself but for the home page it actually configures part of the all-in-one SEO settings so let me go back and I'm just going to go back to the index page and I'm going to pick up the meta tags so I need to view the source of this and you can see there's the title so I'm going to pick the title up control C and I'm going to open a notepad file I'm going to paste it in there and then I'm going to pick up the description which is here control C and copy it over there now I can close that I go back to the all-in-one SEO settings now the title's going to go in there so I just pick it up which one okay this is the one paste it and then the description and paste it in there and that's done now there are other settings for this plugin which I'm not going to cover there but that's the that's done the home page now so just update it now I'm going to do the same again this time for the website hosting page pick up the title don't need that anymore so let's overwrite it pick up the description Got it. It's a question. Let's see. We'll see. Okay, I've got it. Let's just get rid of that. We don't need it. It's a very long description there. Right. Um, let me just show you that now. This one has it got keywords configured. Now I can copy them over if I want to, uh, but I'm not going to go do that in this stage. I don't normally use keywords anymore in um, on my web pages. So I've got them there. Now all I need to do is close that off. Let's go back to WordPress pages. Now I'm going to go to the website hosting page. Now if I scroll down, this is inserted by the all in one SEO plugin here. So let me take that and put it into the title. Notice it gives you a, a view of it there. And take that and put it into the description. And it's in there and that's it I'm done I just need to update it uh, there is one annoying thing about it this is putting the name of the site in it behind it now that's uh, configurable in the all-in-one SEO pl uh, plugin so I need to go back to the the settings on there and I say that's, cov cov that's covered in an article on the site so I'm not going to cover it here I'm just going to update it and then we just preview it Okay, that, and you can see the title at the top there, of the browser window. That's a new title. Okay, so that's it. Now we've copied over the pages. We've copied over the uh, content and the meta tags. Now, 
one thing you need to be aware of, and I'm just going to go back to the home page to show you this. So let's go to all pages. Okay, and this one's including images. Now, the images on the old site are stored uh, generally in a, in a folder called images. Now if you upload images in WordPress it stores them as part of the WordPress installation under the uploads directory which is part of the uh, WordPress con content directory. Uh, but these images aren't stored there. They're actually stored outside of the WordPress installation in the images directory. Now that's okay because we've installed into the same directory so we still have access to that directory. So as long as you don't delete um, the old images directory this is going to work fine. Now what you can do at a later date if you want to is you can re-upload the images into WordPress and then uh, replace them so they are stored as part of the WordPress installation but I'm not going to do that I'm just going to leave them as where they are for the time being. And just have a quick look at it to make sure that they are there. So there are the images okay so th that's the contents copied over the meta tags are copied over now the next thing now is to make sure that all the page links will work and to do that we need to use that redirection plugin and we need to configure some some redirects and so let's go back to the and I'm going to show you the one here website hosting that's what the page is called copy that. Let's get rid of some of these. And website hosting. I don't need to go into that. Just do a quick edit and I'll just look. At, there's the page slug. That's what the new page name. So copy it over. It's the same except it doesn't have the .htm on the end. Okay, so now I go back, go off to the tools. Ah, okay, I haven't activated the redirection plugin. Let's go and activate it. There it is there now. Okay, so I'm going to add a new dot red redirection. There's a source, which is the old page, and to the new page, and just add the redirection, and that's it done. There it is. There. Okay. Um, no need to test that that redirection. Okay, so I go to the home page and then I click on the link there to website hosting. And you can see it gets redirected to the to the <coughs> sorry. <coughs> it gets redirected to the to the new page. So that's it uh, to copy over the content and then redirect the the pages now we really know in the position where we can't really do much more with this until we switch over to WordPress and to do that all we need to do now is to delete the well not delete but to rename the index file and I'm just going to do that and make the switch over more or less complete and remember one of the criteria is so we can revert back to it and that's why I'm just going to rename it not delete it um, because I to revert back I just rename it back to the old so let me just go and rename it now okay so here I'm over on my site I'm just going to find the old there's the index and I'm just going to rename that 
just put a one in front of it so it drops at the top of the list okay so that's effectively got rid of it now let me go back to my website and go back to the home page and you can see now I'm on the WordPress uh, I hadn't configured it as a static page like I, I thought I had let me let me go back and do that which is uh, so Okay, let me go back to the home page again. And there it is. Okay, that's it. Uh, we've copied over the content, we've copied over the meta tags, we've redirected the page, and we've made the switch over from the old HTML to the, um, the new WordPress site. That's the end of this video. Until the next time, bye.